So I picked up one of these out of the dump store, dumpster and dump store. Hmm. There's a Freudian slip. Um, labeled defective. A uh, 24 volt, 400 watt. Where are we here? 400 watt maximum output power, 24 volt power supply. This came from originally a uh, uh, Barco uh, medical grade display. So the um, the interior is pretty skookum, except it looks like somebody dropped this and uh, because this has got some mass, it um, disturbed the potting on this uh, choke and uh, it has, uh, has broken. So I'm betting that that's what the big problem is. Um, uh, in any event, it's worth just trying to um, solder that back into place and see if um, it boots up. Because if it does, then woohoo, 24 volt power supply for my, uh, for my uh, Delta printer. And then I can upgrade the printed bed to 24 volts and I got 24 volt fans, etc., etc., etc. So yeah, and the Douay board um, does 24 volts. So um, let's try that. I mean, this thing is built beefy. Um, like those heat sinks are huge. This, um, I think is a solid block of aluminum on this, uh, on the bridge rectifier on the uh, incoming side. That is just a huge heat sink. And then that not only provides the thermal mass, but then it connects to the entire case. So yeah, it's just an amazingly well-constructed piece of equipment in terms of, uh, uh, well, build quality. As long as you don't drop the darn things is what my my gut's telling me. I think it'll be pretty uh, pretty reliable as long as you just don't like flop it onto the ground. But uh, who am I to say? Okay, so there's two screws that are kind of tricky to get at. I need to get my camera. There's that one, and then there's one hiding underneath here um, that is underneath the ground uh, spade lug in here. I don't know if you can see it in there, but there's a red uh, spade lug that connects to the ground terminal. So that's going to be a bit of a pain to put back, but yeah, now you can see in there is the other fastener. There you go. Let's pull that out. Okay, and so that's the board extracted. So now, let's just take a look at this guy. Yeah, that sheared that right off. So we're going to have to pull this off and try and get enough. Well, I might marry up a piece of copper onto, or a piece of wire onto here, because I don't think I'm going to be able to pull. Well, I might be able to pull enough wire through there. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But let's take a look at this board. Huh. Wow. Oh, what happened to you, little guy? And what are you? Because that doesn't look quite right. Hmm. that some sort of a ferrite that got broken during the the drop? It might have hmm, I might have a problem here yeah, that doesn't look quite right well, we'll see Okay, I think I've pulled enough wire through so that it it is almost the same length. And then we just need to epoxy that little guy onto there. And let's see what have I got. Use my approximators. That's that three millimeters. And that's yeah, 
half a millimeter out. That should do us just nicely. Pop that back up. It's maybe a bit twisted in order to get that, but uh, it'll still fit in the case. And yeah, we'll be good to go. Okay, I don't think this is going to be a successful repair because we've got a very custom looking transformer here which looks like it's just got ferrites in it. I don't see any windings. So it's a six pin device that also has some, uh, has some, I, I think those solder tabs on the side are just for structural stability because it's a tall device. So yeah. And when whoever dropped it, dropped it, the inside of the case made contact with that little square uh, transformer and smushed it. So I'm betting that, that we're not going to be able to um, find a replacement for it. I have never seen something that looks like that and it looks pretty darn custom. But if anybody knows where to find such a thing, shout out. I remember complaining to myself that if I have to use tools to do assembly, I have failed at DFM. Where did that proper screwdriver go? Okay, perhaps I should have the uh, fire extinguisher ready. Something clicked. Something didn't click that time. It does not produce 24 volts. It produces zero volts. So yeah, it did not work. Sounds to me like a relay going on and off or a fuse setting resetting. So yeah, I tried. That was a fail. I don't think I'll ever find a inductor to replace that, so um, salvage four parts. Oh well, there would be some good parts in there. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching. Bye for now. But the good news is that there was two of them. I think this one might actually work. How did that go again? Yeah, 24 volts. Okay, so I've got a 24 volt 400 watt power supply. Yay. And a bunch of parts from that other one.